What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to talk about if you're really ready to start applying for that first job as a data analyst. Now, I get asked this question all the time. Someone will send me the resume, they'll send me a list of skills that they're good at, and they'll say, am I ready to start applying for a data analyst job? And nine times out of 10, I say yes. But how do I know that and why don't they know that? So in this short video, I'm gonna give you a small checklist of things that you should look at to see if you are ready to start applying for your very first job as a data analyst. Number one is, have you watched all of the Alex the Analyst videos? Now, I had a subscriber reach out to me about two weeks ago and said that he had put that on his resume and got a senior level position right away. Now, I can't verify if that's true, but it sounds pretty true to me. All right, so no, number one is actually, do you at least know two of the four core skills at a basic or intermediate level? Those core skills are SQL, Python, Tableau, or Power BI, and Excel. Now, why do you only need to know two of those skills? Well, most jobs don't need you to know every single one of them really well. They really might just be looking for someone who knows SQL or someone who knows Python or is really good at visualizing data in Tableau. They don't need somebody who knows every single thing. And so if you're really good at SQL in Excel or Python in Excel or Tableau in Excel, I really recommend knowing Excel. Uh, I think you can check this one off. Number two on our checklist is do you have a resume that is data analyst focused? So do you have your skills on there? Have you put your personal portfolio projects on your resume? And do you have any certifications that you need to add to it? Now, if you have number one and two checked off, you were like 90% of the way there. But if you don't have number two checked off, I have an entire video on how you can create a data analyst resume. So if you haven't done that, be sure to check that one out. Now, number three on our checklist is have you been preparing for interviews? Because once you start applying, you could get an interview the next day, the next week, the next month, and you need to be prepared for it. So you need to be preparing not just for the technical questions, but also for the general questions. There are a few places that you can go to prepare for the technical questions. Two websites that I really like to prepare for SQL and Python technical questions are LeetCode, and you can go to the database section for SQL. And I also like Stratascratch, and I will leave links in the description for both of those. Now, number four is probably my biggest piece of advice, and it kind of goes against the ones that I just talked about, but it's that you're never fully going to be ready and feel 100% confident in applying, right? You just have to go for it. And I wish that I had started before I did. I mean, I waited probably two or maybe even three months too long before I should have been applying because once I got into those interviews and they started asking me questions and asking me if I knew this or this skill, I realized that these were areas that I needed to focus in and that's what I started doing, but I had waited too long or I felt like I had waited too long. I also realized that what they were looking for was usually just somebody who really knew SQL or really knew Python or really knew Excel exceptionally well, and I didn't have to know every single skill. And so the bar that I had set for myself was usually a lot higher than the bar that a lot of these places had really needed. I realized that a lot of these companies just wanted someone who knew how to do joins in SQL and had a good attitude and really was excited to work there. That's almost all they were looking for. Honestly, when you're first starting out and you're getting those entry level jobs, you're gonna do a lot of learning on the job. And so they don't expect you to know everything. They don't expect you to come in with this wealth of knowledge and information. They just kind of expect you to come in and do your best and have a good attitude and learn quickly. So if you can check off those first three, I think that you are ready to start applying for your very first data analyst job. I really don't see any reason to wait. I think that the experience and the information that you learn while you're actually applying is invaluable. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.